Good afternoon. I have no formal presentation as such, but I thought uh, I would go through some of the ideas which I mentioned this morning. Um, as a former teacher of English and deeply involved in literacy, um, what I've been doing um, over m many years is trying to introduce literacy through the use of ICT. And I know it's not popular to praise PowerPoint, but I have found that if you put that in the hands of creative students, what they can do with it is astonishing because they can reach for a whole battery of tools in the past, I retired two years ago, um, and use draw and paint and sound files and music. And one of the projects we did involved working with scientists uh, at NASA in Cleveland, Ohio, and their, their brief was to put scientific data into the curriculum. It cost billions of dollars to, to find, to create, and not much was being done with it. So we created a project called Science Through Arts, or I created a project called Science Through Arts, and the idea was that scientific data would be analysed by the students and turned into poetry, into drama, into film scripts and so on. When we were told by Mr Gove in January that we also needed to look at programming, um, I decided what we would try to set up at Brunel University for this September, we're still in the process of um, filling out all the details, to create a, a project which I'm calling Creativity, Cross-Curricular ICT and Computer Science. The computer science is a, is a bit of a no-no because I'm not, it's not really my world until I discovered Scratch Animation. Um, and what my students have been doing with the older technologies, i.e. being enormously creative, developing their writing skills, creating characters, animating them and so on, this could also be done with Scratch. So what I'm planning for September is to teach our um, senior primary classes and our lower secondary how to develop the same sort of cross-curricular projects involving text and animation, music, sound files and so on, possibly involving computer, um, uh, space science as well, and developing a similar sort of way of approaching that old model but with a new technology. Wish me luck. Um, I think I'm in the right place to have all the questions thrown at me, but um, I think that's manageable because the primary tra uh, trainees will have a knowledge of PowerPoint, and so the idea is to take them on the journey of using that with the old technologies to give them the confidence um, to move on to the next stage where they're using better technology, which, which um, Adam was talking about to me earlier, that we, we, we mustn't restrict them with the old technologies, we've got to move them forward with the new technologies, and I've taken that on board um, very strongly. So that's uh, my next plan, and um, come to Brunel and see what we're doing. Thank you.